guys. I pray that you guys are doing well today and everything is go going well. And I pray that um, he is doing some abundantly beautiful things in your life. Um, oh my gosh. I have such a word burning inside me and it's a very um, difficult word and very I think timely word uh, the Lord has um, but before I get to that I'm going to pray Father you know this word that you've set upon my heart and you know that it's a very timely word and a very difficult word I pray Lord God that you will just speak speak with power speak with precision hide me behind the cross let Rachel die and Jesus live Oh God I want this word to change lives oh God the way you've given it to me, Lord God. Cause truth to come from this word. Cause lives to be saved and ministries to be started and everything go, Lord God, to go the way you wanted it to go, Lord God. I may have fear and I may be trembling inside because this word is difficult, but I must do the work of you who sent me and today I do that work even though with fear and trembling Lord God cover, cover me now from any backlash from any from any demonic interference Lord God and cover open our ears to hear what you have said and what you will speak today in the name of Jesus Amen um, I don't even know how to start this so I guess I will just say what the Lord has been um, speaking to me about and I will preface this by saying everything I say today is because of the love of the Lord I have for you guys and because of what he has shown me and um b i will say that it is his word not mine and i will deliver it with much gentleness and much kindness as possible and i will speak but but say that i will speak truth um there is a great push um, out in the world today for acceptance of anything um, gender wise acceptance for gender transitioning and all of that gender flu flu fluidity which means um, you can basically be whatever gender you feel like if you were born, born a boy, you could be a woman with the right amount of money. And if, um, if you were born a woman, you can be a man with the right amount of money. And with the right medications and all that. And the Lord has been speaking to me. And first of all, let me apologize for the hateful, for the like disregard for um, the Christian um, Christians when it comes to homosexual people and um, bisexual people and um, people struggling with gender identity and, and um, people that have gone through gender transitioning and let me say that um, the Lord wants me to first and foremost tell you that he loves you to pieces. 
He loves you to pieces. He loves you to pieces. And he wants you to receive his love. And um, I've, I've been watching the media lately. And I've been watching uh, TV shows lately. And there's been about four TV shows with little kids um, coming out and either saying uh, they're gay or little kids like 10 or 11 uh, coming out and saying coming out and saying they're gay or um, coming out and saying they want to be the other gender and the Lord was speaking to me about this issue and he's been he's he, he said to me this he said um, anybody struggling with uh, gender identity the reason that you are struggling with it the reason why you don't know whether you're whether you're supposed to be what well, the reason why you feel you're to be the other gender is because the gender you were born has such a divine destiny attached to it that the spirit of evil wants you to say, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be the other gender because I don't feel right in my own skin. Um, just so that you won't get to your God-given destiny. It has nothing to do with you. Uh, you are just a pawn in the devil's devices. That's all you are. Um, he is he is seeking whom he may devour. And he's praying on the minds of people who don't know the Lord. And the Lord is saying, if you're unsure about who you are, and if you feel kind of awkward in your skin and if you feel like dressing like the other gender and being like the other gender he's saying that he's saying just to come to him he's saying that what you're feeling the reason why you're feeling that way is not because you need to change your gender it's not because there's a problem with you, you in the way um, he put you into being as a boy or as a girl. He's saying because you have a destiny attached to you, to you in the way you were born. Um, so if you were born a boy and you were born Tommy, there's a destiny attached to Tommy and it's so um, it's so important that you fulfill that destiny as Tommy that he would mess he would mess with your mind from very young to say oh my gosh I feel like I'm supposed to dress like Tiffany so I'll dress like Tiffany. Not, not, and you don't know that Tommy has a divine destiny. So when, um, when Tiffany comes out and you're dressing like a, and you, and you're feeling like a woman, you're feeling that that's who you are. But that's not who you are. You are who God created you to be. And beloved, he loves you so much. He wants you to come to him. And if you're having those kind of confusing thoughts, and if you don't know um, who you are meant to be, you are meant to be who you were born, to, who you were born, not the other gender. That's all. Um, that's all from the evil one that would convince you that you're supposed to be the other gender and you're not. And the Lord said something very interesting to me. 
He said, there are millions of people, he said, millions of people who are walking around in different genders than the um, gender they were born and, and missing their destiny altogether. And he said, the saddest thing is that these people are happy because they think they found their self because they are who they feel. Um, they are who they feel they are. But it's all smoke and mirrors. And because you have a divine destiny on your life as a person, the devil will use any device he can to get a hold of you. And this goes past I'm talking about, g about gender identity and gender fluidity today. This goes past that. This even flows into um, uh, the way you look and the way you act and the way you are. He would convince you that the way you were born was not enough. Whether you were black, whether you were Spanish, whether you were Caucasian, he, he will do anything to let you know that who you are is not enough. And I've come to tell you today, who you were born, beloved, is more than enough. If you were born a man, you were meant to be a man because he has a divine destiny for you as a man. If you if you were born a woman, you were meant to be a woman because he has a divine destiny for you as a woman. And 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 the devil would convince you to be the other gender because your destiny as your original gender is so great, so vast, so life-changing that it's going to shake the world. So he would have you just to be happy um, to be the other gender and not knowing that you have a divine destiny as your original gender. And the Lord also said this to me. The Lord also said, there are millions of people, single people, who, whose husbands are women and whose wives are men, and they're supposed to be in ministry together, but because the spirit of darkness got to them at a young age, and they didn't know it was the spirit of darkness, they thought it was just something they were feeling, something uh, they were, you know, something that was happening to them. They thought it was their true self um, because the devil has deceived their minds. He said because of that, there are literally thousands of people who are supposed to be in ministry with these people who are not because the devil has deceived them. And I'm not saying this to judge you. I'm not saying this because I'm some sort of perfect person or I'm trying to send you to hell. I'm saying this because God has an ordained destiny for you as a woman or as a man or whoever you were born not as the other gender those voices that are telling you you are meant to be the other gender they're lying to you beloved they're lying to you and he would say to you today come to me he said don't give me your gender fluidity don't give me your don't give me only your sexuality. Give me your life. And that's what he wants for every single human being. He wants your life. 
He wants your life. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. And it's and his heart is breaking because he sees you. He knows who he wants you to be. And his heart is broken for you. And he's bro broken my heart to tell you this is not who he wants you to be. He wants you to be who you were born to be, who he made you as, not who you feel you are, are to be. The devil has hoodwinked so many of us in so many different ways, and this is only one way he's hoodwinked us. He's hoodwinked us, oh, I was supposed to be, you know, um, I'm too, I, I'm, I'm too, the devil has hoodwinked us in so many ways, you wouldn't believe it. So he's, God is telling you that he loves you just the way you were born and you weren't meant to be meant to be something other than you were because the reason you're feeling this way is because he has a, a divine destiny on your life um he said from your mother's womb he knew you he knows every hair on your head. He knows He knows that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And the devil would do anything to uh, say that you were that you ought to be someone different or something different or that you can't be who God's created you to be. And if you don't know who you are as whether it be your gender or whether it be your you know what you're supposed to do and what your purpose is ask him but first before you ask him you need to give him your life you need to give him yourself because that's all he wants from you is your life and he's going to pour pure love on you he's going to satisfy every need it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be so worth it. And being a Christian is the most satisfying life you can ever have. And the way it's portrayed in television and movies, oh my gosh, it's portrayed so boring. That's a lie too. He said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health. He said, I've come that you may have a life and have it more abundantly. So he's come, beloved, that you may have life. And he wants you to know that he loves you more than anything, more than anyone can love you. And if you give your life over to him today, he will pour so much love, so much joy on you that it will amaze you. It will be, it will, it will be tough. I'm not saying it will be easy, but oh my gosh, it's so inexplainable how much he loves you, how much his heart beats for you, how much he's passionate about you. And he sent me here to, here to say, that you, that you are so precious to him, that you are like a precious gem, the way you were made and the way you were created. So God bless you. And if you, if you're hearing this message today, and and want a relationship with Jesus Christ, a lot of people um, do the sinner's prayer like pray after me. I don't. I don't really uh, do that because I believe he wants to hear you. He doesn't want to hear my words. He wants to hear your words. So just ask him to come into your life. Ask him to do whatever he wants with you. Ask him to make everything wrong, wrong right, and he will. He will show you who you are and whose you are. And he will direct you 
what to change and how to change it. You don't have to get prettied up for God. You just have to come as you are and he will do the changing. And you have to have a surrendered heart. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that everyone under the sound of my voice has a surrendered heart today. I pray that you will give them peace, joy, love, and understanding. I pray that you will pour a dose of your love right now. Go into the deepest crevices of their spirit, Lord God, and pour into them yourself, your love, your hopes for them, your dreams for them. Give them the, the desires that, that they should have, Lord God, the relations the relationship desires, the sexual desires, give them, take to, take them through your process for their lives, oh God, and bring them out as pure gold, Lord God. Purify us, oh God, myself included. Purify us, make us more like you. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Guys, I thank you for listening to this message. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.